All right, so here we are with our ALU with the stock marquee off. So you can see this little glue here, that's just from the stock marquee, so don't worry about that. Um, so we've got basically two power cords coming out. One is for the Raspberry Pi, this is just a standard micro USB. And then the other one is a 12 volts, not five volts, but 12 volts, either two amp or five amp, either one is fine. Um, you can get away with two amps power supply. And so both of these cords are plugged into a common power strip mounted at the bottom of the ALU. So that's kind of up to you, but I think it's easy just to put everything into one power strip. So let's go ahead and mount this guy. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is make sure you have it right side up. So I made this mistake the first time I installed it. So just look at the back and right side up is basically like this. So see this little notch on the right side? That needs to be pointing up. Your um, HDMI cables are pointing up. So as long as it's like that, you know it's right side up. So just go ahead and flip it over. And then let's go ahead and plug in our connections. So the first one is going to be our power connection. And so this is going to plug into the, so this is our 12 volts, 2 amps or 5 amps. That's going to plug into our LCD controller board. And then the second one, this is going to plug into our Raspberry Pi. And this is just a standard um, micro USB power. So let's go ahead and plug that guy in. All right. Again, make sure we keep it, say I flipped it upside down. Make sure we keep it right side up. Okay, so we can kind of tuck these cables back in like this. This is right side up, so let's go ahead and flip it over. And now we can mount. And so basically, it's just gonna go in like this and just line up those, those six holes that we went over before. So let's get, and you can use, by the way, the same exact screws stock screws that came with your ALU, so that's quite nice. You don't need you don't need new screws. Here's our screwdriver. So let's just do this one at a time. We'll start with the one in the middle here. Okay, once you get the first one in, then it's pretty straightforward. Just a matter of lining up Again, I've got a 1.1. If I had a 1.0, I'd probably be using these holes right here. But right now we're not going to use those because we've got a 1.1. And it might be tempting to use a power drill. I wouldn't do that. Just it's easier to do it by hand and you don't want to over tighten. Okay, so at this point, it's really easy to get fingerprints on the LCD. So let's just take a microfiber. Let's wipe this down pretty good. Get all the fingerprints off because once you mount your bezel, this is going to be covered. So let's just get all those off. All right, so let's go ahead and mount the bezel. So here's our bezel. Now you notice that the top part of this is a little taller than the bottom part. It's gonna be the same on the bezel. So on the bezel, the top part is a little taller than the bottom part. So that's how you know you got it lined up. So let's just go ahead and fit it into place here. And this is these are gonna line up with these hex stands. Okay. And so you can also just, you know, you can see that we're covering the Part of the part of the monitor that we need to that's the other visual check so let's go ahead and take these little thumb screws here see i got some fingerprints here but that's okay because they're on the outside if they're on the inside then we're in trouble so we can get those later so now let's go ahead and do these these uh screws let's start over here and what i would do just take your little tool here get it started and First one is always the hardest one, unfortunately. Let's try that again. Okay, all right, first one's always the hardest one. We got that. Um, you don't have to screw it in too tight. In fact, you shouldn't shouldn't screw it in too, too tight. So just hand tight is fine. 
So let's go ahead and do, let's do the bottom. Actually, let's do the top over here. So now let's just take our microfiber cloth and get rid of all those fingerprints. And then lastly, there's a little topper piece that just covers the gap on the top. This will just sit in, sit in like so. This actually will sit in with the friction. It's just the right length, so it'll just kind of sit in place there. You don't really need to glue it. So that, there we have it. Let's go ahead and power on and finish the setup in the software. So unlike Pixelcade LED, Pixelcade LCD connects over Wi-Fi, so it doesn't use up a USB port. So it's gonna give you a message. The first thing you need to do is connect to the Super Pixelcade Wi-Fi network that this is gonna advertise as a one-time thing, just might, like many other IoT devices you might find in your house. So from any device on your network, I'm just gonna do this from my iPhone right now. You could do this from a laptop as well. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to connect to that Super Pixelcade Wi-Fi network. And again, this is just a one-time setup. You only have to do this one time. And once I'm connected to that network, I'm gonna launch a browser and I'm gonna to go to the URL setup.pixelcade. Basically it tells us on here, setup.pixelcade.org. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a little Wi-Fi setup screen so I can go here, I can see all my Wi-Fi. So you wanna pick the Wi-Fi, basically the same Wi-Fi that your At Games Legend is on. Go ahead and pick it from there. Then go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password and just make sure you get this right. Okay, and then once I hit submit, this is gonna go ahead and reboot. And basically when it boots up again, it's gonna be connected to my Wi-Fi network. Hopefully I put in my password right, and then we're, uh, we can proceed. Okay, so now that we're connected on Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna go here. Just like with Pixelcade LED, I'm gonna to go to Pixelcade X. And let's do a mount. And then let's do start. All right, so now let's browse some games. So we can start with some of these arcade net games. 